So rough water. This is kind of one of my favorite pictures. I've got this on my Facebook as the, uh, my wallpaper or whatever. Uh, this was at a Bassmaster Classic in probably, I don't know, about, about five years ago maybe. Something like that. Yeah, five years ago. Was it at Grand Lake? Yeah, Grand Lake. Grand Lake, Oklahoma, six years ago? Okay, 16 then. It was 16. I was at that one too. I've still got cramps from my hands. <laughs> yeah. But this was, uh, I was going across the lake. I'd fished to the last minute, and, and I was going across the lake, and I was going into the waves, which is the preferred way to go into waves that are not too big. I, 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 well, no matter how big they are, I much prefer to go into them than with them. We'll get to that in a minute. But this situation, there were about, there was about three footers or so, and I was running into them, and I was running across the tops of them. I was going faster than I probably needed to, but I was late to the weigh-in. I cut it close. I did make it in on time. It was that right there. You'd be surprised. I probably did that same thing right there about 10 different times going across that stretch. Um, but I was just hitting the tops of the waves, and then every once in a while you'd hit one, and you'd bounce up a little bit, and do 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 boom, It was not rough. It didn't bounce. It didn't beat me up. Didn't beat my partner up. I had all my rods on the front deck. I had the depth finder hanging off. We never, we didn't take any waves over the front, any of that kind of stuff. My my observer was a camera guy, uh, experienced camera guy. He thought he was like, dude, that was one of the most fun rods I've ever had. He he loved it. Um, and I didn't know anything about it. This picture was taken at a long distance and uh, by Shea Baker. He's a good photographer, uh, freelance writer, he, but he, he took that picture and sent it to me. I think it's, uh, it's, been, a, it's been a cool one. It's, it's made its travels. But as we go to the next, next slide, wind direction and wave direction is huge when we're talking about rough water. I mean, that is like hands down number one thing you, you look at. And one of the reasons that on my GPS I always have north up is you can change the map orientation to north up versus um, you know, directional on your map. Uh, and some people like the directional. I, love, I like the north up, which, which means the GPS looks just like the real map. North, so north is up, east, east is, you know, the directional is the way. And I do that, one of the big reasons I do that is for the wind direction. If I know the wind is blowing out of the west at 20, I can just look at my GPS and I can see where the protected side is going to be and where the rough side is going to be. And I know the wind direction. I know where those waves, are, the direction that the waves are running. And I know if I want to run from here to here, I can run here and then I can run there and I can work in there and I'll be in the most protected water. If you just do a directional uh, map, you have no idea which way the wind's coming. Uh, you just can't. You just can't. And that's one of the, the big reasons is because in that rougher water, you want to know your wave direction. And the reason is, it affects the way that you drive in the in the wind in the in the rough waves. So going into the waves is my prefer, is preferred. That's the way you want you want if possible you want to go into those waves. Going into those waves, your trim is going to be not all the way down, but more down than to mid. You want to have that, have it down so that you can keep the, the boat in the water so it can, it can use, you can use the V of the hull to hit those waves and, and, and spread them out and then you can run right through them. Just like I did in that, that one picture, I was going right through them and then every once in a while when you go a little too fast you get, get on top of them. Um, so that's where you want to keep your trim. If the, the direction was the other way around and the wind is behind you, you want to keep that trim from that mid position up. You want the pressure on the front of your boat up. If you keep your trim too far down when you're going with the waves, what's going to happen is you're going to have one of those timing issues to where instead of hitting that wave on the front of your boat, all of a sudden you get up on, you get a little too high and you hit. It's Mike Iconelli. This is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. You will learn things at Bass U that you will learn nowhere else. We take the mystery and the myths 
out of bass fishing. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. At Bass U TV, shoes are optional. And I like turtles. And that's why you want to check out Bass U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV.